I, Brandon, I, Brandon, take you, Hannah, to be my wife. Take you, Hannah, to be my wife. Before God, who brought us together. Before God, who brought us together. To love and cherish you. To love and cherish you. Even as Christ loved the church. Even as Christ loved the church. And gave himself for it. And gave himself for it. To lead you. To lead you. And share all of life's experiences. And share all of life's experiences. With you. With you. By following God through them. By following God through them. That through his grace. That through his grace. We might grow together. We might grow together. In the likeness of Jesus Christ. In the likeness of Jesus Christ. Our Savior and Lord. Our Savior and Lord. I, Hannah, take you, Brandon, to be my husband. Hannah, take you, Brandon. Before God who brought us together. Before God who brought us together. To love you and cherish you. To love you and cherish you. To submit myself unto you in all things. To submit myself unto you in all things. And to follow you through all of life's experiences. To follow you through all of life's experiences. As you follow God. As you follow God. That through his grace. That through his grace. We might grow together in the likeness of Jesus Christ. We might grow together in the likeness of Jesus Christ. Our Savior and Lord. Our Savior and Lord. Brandon, do you have a ring to seal the deal? Brandon, what symbol do you give of your love? Would you repeat after me? Anna, with this ring, I you wed. As you, wear this ring, As you wear this ring, may it remind you of the beauty of Christ, may it remind you of the, beauty of Christ. The, value of my promise, the value of my promise, and the embrace of my love. The embrace of my love. Anna, what symbol do you give of your love? Would you repeat after me? Brandon, with this ring I you wed. As you wear this ring, may it remind you of the strength of Christ and the value of my promise and the embrace of my love.
special evening. Um, at first I was actually a little hesitant about the whole maid of honor thing. Um, about two months after Hannah and Brandon were dating, she was like, no, Julia, uh, I think I'm going to marry him. And I was like, okay. I met him like twice and I was like, okay. The first thing that came to mind wasn't, oh my gosh, my sister found her husband, but it was like, shoot, I have to write a speech. So, um, <laughs> but my priorities have straightened out. Okay, so here you go. Um, okay, so I have to say, it was a little crazy standing up here. I remember one of the first weddings that Hannah and, I and Autumn um, went to. We were a little like grade school maybe. Um, my dad was officiating. And uh, during the nice dinner reception, I think I had just grabbed my cake or something and I went to sit down. And Hannah, um, don't really know what she was thinking, but she came up behind me like right as I was sitting and just whipped my chair out from under me um, in the middle of this nice ballroom. And I fell right on my back, uh, legs flailing around, dressed, you know, flying around, and uh, 
It's a little hard to recover from that one, but yeah, so partly I feel like we're still those little girls pranking each other at other people's weddings, but here we are. Um, it's your big day. Um, yeah, right. So, um, it's your big day, uh, more perfect than we could have imagined, and perhaps a little sooner than we expected, so um, time just goes too fast. <laughs> um, yeah, so I know it's usually at this time that people will give you like some marital advice, but we're a little out of luck there, so um, I'm just going to go with it here. Um, I was trying to think of what I wanted to say to you, Hannah, and um, I wrote a lot of things down over the past like year and a half almost, and um, nothing really could communicate what I wanted to tell you. It's just that I'm so thankful for you. Um, you've always been there for me, um, backing me up when I need it, making peace when I um, caused fights, which kind of happened a lot more little, um, and uh, just been someone who I can look up to in everything, from starting dance classes first, to doing driver's ed first, to going to college, and now here to um, getting married. So. Um, one thing that I did want to tell you, I don't tell you enough, that I really admire about you is um, that you've always been that friend, that person to me who I can be just honest with, and you've always told me how it is, which was sometimes, Julia, suck it up, or Julia, um, these cookies you made just don't taste good, or um, like today, which happened several times, just, uh, Julia, please stop crying. So, um, yeah, but you've always just been that to me. Your love and your honesty has um, been so real to me over the past 17 years, and I hope that it will be the same with you and Brandon for the next 17 and hopefully more years. Um, so, I love you, Hannah. Um, yeah, um, speaking of the next few years, Brandon, um, the, <laughs> okay, so congrats. You definitely already know this, but you have found um, a wife who is going to love you and serve you and push you closer to Christ um, every single day of your life. And, probably be a little bit more stubborn than you too, so uh, let me know the day you get her on a roller coaster, which has not happened yet, but keep me updated. Um, so yeah, so for that you should feel a very lucky guy. Um, I have to admit that when I first met you, I didn't really know what to think. Um, I didn't expect Hannah to get in a relationship so fast, but she did get to a miss, so I can't, I can't really complain. But um, yeah, so I remember being in the student center at a miss actually, early in the year, I was like visiting Hannah, um, and you and Austin were in there, like, breaking a sweat, playing ping pong. I don't really understand how that happens, but you guys are getting pretty, pretty into it. Um, and you were both being super nice to Hannah and I. Um, I know why now. I was just, like, a little standoffish of these, like, soccer jocks. That's literally what I thought um, when, I, when I saw you guys. Um, but, yeah, um, I didn't really know you too well at first. And then something that kind of added to that was um, Thanksgiving break that year. It was, like, you guys' first week apart, I think. And, um, Right before we left, Brandon gave Hannah his, this is very specific, it was his Webster City High School soccer sweatshirt. Um, it really made an impact on me. Um, and we got in the car, it was 17 hours to our grandparents' home for Thanksgiving, and she hugged that sweatshirt and cried on it the entire 17 hours there. Um, and I was like, I cannot relate, so I did not understand. Um, but but now after two years of you guys being together, I can really tell you that Brandon and I understand. I understand why she was why she was so obsessed. So um, yeah, it's been really fun getting to know you over the past few years, and um, just the love and the respect that you bring to Hannah, and the laughter, the tons of laughter that you brought to our family is just um, such an amazing thing to have, and I'm really thankful for that. Um, and thanks for showing me what it's like to have a brother. I've never had that besides Raleigh, which you don't count our dog, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, thanks for taking me to Waffle House in the middle of the night with you guys and showing me how fast you can get places if you drive 10 miles over the speed limit at all times. Um, so yeah, it, you know, it really, it really helps. Uh, okay, uh, and then lastly to the both of you, I just have a couple of things to say. Um, your relationship from the start has been so um, Christ-focused and mature, you probably don't think that yourselves, but watching from the outside, it really has been um, since since two years ago when you guys met, and you really kept Christ first, which is such an example to me as a, a younger sister. Um, and just getting to watch two best friends get to know each other and uh, fall more in love every day is so special to see, and I'm um, just so happy for both of you. Um, one last thing, it's kind of cliche, but this is kind of what I thought of to end with, is just that you two didn't have the privilege of growing up together as some of us had with each of you. 
but now you have the privilege of getting old together, and not just getting old, but of living life together and experiencing ups and downs and building a home, and um, that's just something so special. So treasure it, guard it, um, keep Christ first. I love you both from the very bottom of my heart. Congrats. Hey guys, uh, my name's Austin Krim. I'm uh, the best man and the, the best friend uh, of the groom. I don't remember a time before Brandon, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, but yeah, as long as I can remember, we've been best friends. Uh, we grew up together, went to church together, played basketball together, played soccer together, went to college together, stayed in the same room together, stayed in the same bunk bed together. Uh, <laughs> So I always knew the day would come when Brandon would find someone he loves as much as me. <laughs> and uh, I'm just thankful that, that Hannah made that one easy pill to swallow. Um, but yeah, yeah, those of you that have known Brandon from when he was younger, you know I've, we've stayed together through thick and thin, literally, um, on his part. <laughs> Yeah, so Brandon and I have been friends for as long, um, as long as I can remember, and uh, when we were at Emmaus together, it was one of the first weeks, uh, I remember when we first met Hannah, we first saw Hannah at a, at a, a little mixer of sorts, but I remember getting back to our bunk bed, and uh, he, said, he said, Austin, do you see that, um, that red-haired girl, Hannah, and I was like, oh yeah, he's like, she's got to be the prettiest girl in school. You should ask her out. <laughs> and as you can see, I didn't. But, uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, so I've been thinking about what I can say to you guys um, on your wedding day. And just being around you these past couple years has been a real, a real joy and real delight to get to know Hannah um, and just to get to see Brandon uh, in a way that I haven't seen him before. Um, he's been incredibly happy, but incredibly grounded and more mature than I've ever seen him before. Um, but I'm just going to tell a quick story and then, and then we can wrap this up. But uh, it was uh, uh, one day, one trip back to Emmaus when we were attending there together. I was driving, he was riding. And I was going through, uh, I was going through a little something for a situation where I was, I was a little stressed out and I wasn't sure what to do. And I, Brandon and I were talking about this and kind of talking through the different details. And then, then he said, you know, Austin, Whatever happens, whatever you decide, just know that I will always be here for you. We're always going to be friends no matter what. There's a little bit of a silence in the car, kind of like this. We both stand straight ahead, and then he said something to me that I, I won't ever forget. He said, you stupid idiot, you made me cry. <laughs> There's a little levity to that situation, but it says something about Brandon that I just wanted to tell Hannah. Brandon, even though he might not be quite as in touch with his, with his emotions as he might like him to be, he's fiercely loyal. He's been with me as long as I can remember, and I know he'll be with you for as long as you guys live. I know he'll be there for you as a supporter and an encourager and a spiritual leader. And Brandon, getting to know Hannah has been excellent the past couple of years. I didn't know that you could find someone that quite compliments you the way that she does. And what allows you to be yourself, better or for worse, quite like she does. Um, but I just, uh, I'd encourage you guys as uh, you start your journey of marriage together to just remember, cling to Christ first, keep him at the center, and then uh, cling to each other second. But uh, congratulations guys. I love you both.